I'm finally back! And to celebrate, here's a shot of the attic leprechaun. He's so happy to see me! It's the gang, version one. Oh, oh, oh sorry. sorry. My fault. Um, I'm gonna go get some more wood. Oh, don't worry, I think Gary's got plenty. Did you tell her? So Gary has a crush on Sam now that David is dead. With me. I should never We're here. Let the games begin. Leave it to Stig to interrupt the third heat in the plaid trifecta. I call this story. Meet Felix, a Mexican janitor at the hospital. There is no nice way to put that. Felix! And this is Felix's Carl Winslow of a boss. Gone, but the thing is huge. Find it, Zebo. Or find yourself another job. I heard that Mexicans are taking the word Zebo back. Just can't get used to this night shift, you know? <laughs> <laughs> if I want to volunteer, it's the night shift. <laughs> also, meet Amanda and Lorette. Amanda is the one in the blue cardigan, and Lorette is the one that looks like a lesbian cruise director. I'm sorry, I'm late. I'm just going to take his meds. Where is this shadowy death hospital? <laughs> and number five oh, wants her mommy. I thought the night shift was supposed to be quiet. And I thought crippled children were supposed to be sad. We've got a new volunteer. I want you to show her around. And finally, meet Margot. She's what I like to call a slutty virgin. Or like a gentle Nazi. You know, like nice on the outside, but probably a freak on the inside. Hi. Hi. I was a candy striper at one point as well. And it was exactly like this. Except for our uniforms didn't look like marshmallow peeps. School kind of takes up a lot of the day. Felix is in the basement looking for the shipment that he lost when he comes across this girl. But how did it Hi, get- Hi, Felix. There are too many characters in this. I'm gonna name this girl D because she dies. <laughs> he gives her a look like he's gonna get laid. <laughs> Really? Do you know what show you're on? You know, I don't think we're supposed to be. Goosebumps, apparently. Guy number 59 says he's a friend of yours. Who is he? Go see. He's cute. Classic death hospital. All the doctors and nurses leave for the night and the glorified water fillers take over. Hello? Amanda? Yeah, nothing says hooking up like a terminal illness. Tomorrow, getting... Tonsils out. Now this goof's name is Colin. He has candy corn in his pocket. What? And you can take care of me. You want some candy corn? Sure. Oh, come on, it was a goof. No, you're a goof and I'm busy. Goofs. Hello. Lorette gets conned into playing hide and go seek with a ghost child who is literally Alicia Cuthbert. Aunt Lorette was always the worst at scaring us. I'm gonna scare you. Pretend you're sick before we all get in trouble. Okay. All right, eating candy corn better come into play later in this episode because they're really battering that one to death. Battering? Like a ram. That guy's in my class. He's been bugging me for months about... So now Lorette is all zombie-like because Bubblegum Face probably got to her. Lorette? Back in the towel and sheet room, Amanda tries to see what she's doing without turning any lights on. She keeps subtly blue-balling Colin. If I get in trouble, I'll cut out your tonsils myself. Yowza! This is like the first time we're doing something together. So now Amanda and Colin go on an adventure to find Colin's roommate, who is probably bitten by the guy in the Halloween mask. We better call security. You're right, Amanda. I'll do. Now the nurse has been bitten too. Seriously, is there like a makeup portion of the Teen Choice Awards? Because I want to not give it to this episode. I want to nominate this episode just so that the makeup department sits in the audience looking all hopeful and they can be on the little corner of the screen. When they find out that like Alex Mack won, or Ghost Writer. It's the one place you wanted to see. <laughs> they really wanted a sign that would comfort people when they come to identify their loved ones. Morg! <laughs> you can't miss it. Is that a body? So they find Felix, and he's... Really dead. Or is he... Sort of. That is just the worst child's painting behind him. 
I mean, I get it, you're sick, but change up the color. There's, there's more color in your vomit. <sighs> I drank too much and made me like this. So after about five minutes of breathy exposition, the characters learn what we already know. Maybe you can stop it. Easy, pal. They go down to the basement to try and burn his coffin, but guess who shows up? Amanda? Oh. Are you down there? I want to say Mace Macy? Marcy? Margo. Margo! It's Margo. Margo, are you okay? Sure. Felix is wrong, you know. No, she's him! She's the vet. She's run! Get out of the get out of the basement! Of course a vampire needs its coffin. But it also needs blood. What? Go pa go past her. Run up run around and go past the cobblestone. Get out of the basement. It's it doesn't matter. I'm almost done here anyway. Her, it's she's gonna turn into him. She's gonna turn into the British guy. She's gonna eat you. Oh no. <laughs> that was I would uh... This isn't exactly the first date I had in mind. Colin comes up with a plan to destroy the coffin and kill the vampire. If I lure the vampire away, you can drag the coffin into the incinerator. And Amanda outdoes him. Show off. I lure the vampire away. You can move the coffin. <laughs> and let's face it, he'll want me more than your lazy ass. That's not a good idea. I'd see the morgue. For real. I'm beginning to like the night show. Uh-oh, now every character we've introduced is gonna come back. This will only take about an hour or so. The sign behind her says gynecologist. Not, not that that's funny. This is... A fact! Amanda lures the vampire onto the rooftop, probably just trying to make him more comfortable in his leather onesie. I'm far too good a hunter. <laughs> Too late. That shiz just does not breathe. <laughs> Wonderful. I like that they even kept the mat that they dropped the mannequin onto, just so we know that the mannequin wasn't harmed. I really thought the night shift was supposed to be quiet. And now everything is back to normal. Crippled kid still hasn't bitten the bullet, and nurse cynicism is blindly looking at folders. What happened to the new girl? Did I scare her off already? <laughs> um, yeah. I remember. Thanks. Oh, good. You remember. No need for an explanation. I'll have to check my schedule. But I'm pretty sure I can squeeze you in. So wait, the candy corn was just a sexy character trait? That is terrible. The end. The end. The end. Keep walking. Why is Betty Ann so invested in getting Gary laid? Uh, that's great. Uh, why don't I, I put out the fire? No. Not yet. Let's burn some wood of our own. I give the tale of the night shift 50 candy corns out of 52 candy corns with like just house coat lint all over them. Goofs. 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 This is so weird. <laughs>